So, hello everyone, uh, very good morning. Uh, hope uh, those who are giving only module 2 are uh, done with their exams and uh, taking the much needed breather. So, I'll be quickly briefing, uh, quickly reviewing yesterday's uh, Resolution Corporate Disputes paper and I want to share a few insights as well. So, if you see the paper, uh, um, I mean, the question paper was as expected, it was quite standard. But what I would like to suggest is, uh, for example, those who are giving module 2 and module 3, in module 3, a FEMA penalty question came. So even yesterday, there was a question on um, penalty on FEMA. So there is no room for any emotions in uh, professional paper, professional exams. So in whatever mistakes, you should not focus only on mistakes. For example, some questions came, you should focus on those points and uh, what common thing is there for this. For example, the penalty had you studied on MCA after the exam had you seen it, you would have written this. So another thing is, for, for example, paper is 100 marks, your requirement is, first of all, you should identify whether it's a very easy paper or a tricky paper. In case of a tricky paper, definitely you can pick up at least 40 to 50 marks from it. What are the questions that is going to fetch me that marks? So you should identify that in the first 10 minutes. So this is a pattern of a, a quick pattern of the theory things that you should keep in mind. So yes, I'll... Uh, So if you see a paper, uh, first question was on uh, deposit. I, I, like I told before, if you go, if you see the paper, what I would like to ask those who are giving the exams in uh, December, you should uh, first of all go through all the site editing that is there in the material, like uh, exit interviews, clawbacks, and side by side you should scribble down what you mean by that what you understood and also penalty you should maintain a separate note for five pages penalty might come for only five to six marks but those five to six marks like in yesterday's paper because there was a lot of practical questions but penalties if you have studied properly it is a straightforward score so with the background let's quickly go through so question 2b what is question 2b yesterday <clears throat> so, agreed person ought to apply tribunal. Can you go to civil court of mothering and appeal? So, the answer is uh, as per uh, as per section 43, in case of uh, when a failure of the appellate tribunal didn't go along well, then uh, Agreed person can appeal to I court within 60 days. You should not stop your answer with that. You should give a big brief uh, definition of what is meant by uh, I court that uh, provision as uh, explanation uh, attached to that as well because the question carries four marks. So, next one is question two. So, we need to go if the paper is lengthy, all you have to do is quickly go to the questions. What is the requirement? Whether the non declaration of dividend can be termed as operation misconduct, whether non holding of meetings should amount to operation of uh, minority shareholders. So, in case of uh, dividend, so you should write this as per Vasudevanji or Sarkas or the Iron Man works. The declaration of dividend is subject to the decision of the collective decision of the board of directors, so it does not amount to oppression. So next one is question 3a. This is the liability of actual non executive for committee punishment because mainly managing debt is only responsible. But if it's just an equitable, if they prove able to prove properly, I'll show you the answer as well. This is a very very crisis management risk alignment is a very important topic and uh, very good scoring so uh, these are the expected answers from you what i am actually doing now is i am showing the questions from which you could have scored or you should have uh, attempted more than 50 so i am uh, that is the main uh, purpose begin this review so those are the areas i'm touching and the next one is what is the penalty as i was briefing at the start 
management not complaining or going against the rules or for example asking the companies to asking the employees to work for longer hours like uh, working during weekends or uh, going against the policies simply put going against the rules and regulations policies that is called organizational misconduct so what you should have already done during the preparation is what are the four questions like organizational mistakes etc if there are three to four bullet points you should have maintained the 10 to 20 pages notes for the, this sub points things as well as for penalty and you should have gone through in the exam day morning so next one is another scoring very easy question was uh, write a note on exit checks and clawbacks so in case of clawbacks what provision should come to mind is recurring recurring of management remuneration so that points you could have written as example and exit checks so what are the exit interviews whether all those things have been performed so now you see i briefed only 6 to 7 questions but this thing will if you written properly it will fetch you 55 to 60 so many candidates told uh, they didn't meet the expectations yesterday so these are the things you should keep in mind so all the very best and those who are giving the exam today i'm sure you're doing very well so take a break take a break for the next two one week it is but how the exams went well or not but i hope all of you clear but quickly next week write down where you could have done better this is that is very important for any other queries you can reach out to me so all the very best and uh, enjoy the break and enjoy the efforts you put in for the results for the time being